We suffer more in imagination than in real life. Seneca. Warm greetings and welcome world. Kansura, the Taoist scholar warrior and Kung Fu creative here. Your guide on this journey of enlightenment and empowerment. I want you to imagine a warrior on the brink of a great battle. His mind is filled with countless outcomes, most of them filled with danger. Yet when the time to act comes, he finds reality far less intimidating than his fears had imagined. How can we gather the courage to face fear that seems larger in our minds than in the world? Before we return to that question, let's set our intentions of gratitude for this moment and the start of a new day. These intentions stand not just for this session, but for our future. On the count of three, we'll say our shay and take a sip. Ready? One, two, three. Ashe, the battlefield. Have you ever been on the edge of a decision, feeling the weight of the unseen battles ahead? Today we'll explore the heart of courage and the shadows of fear, aiming to unravel these aspects of the human experience. We'll seek to understand the nature of fear and courage and how we can navigate them to emerge even stronger. Fear, a primary emotion, serves as our alarm system, signaling danger and preparing us for fight or flight. However, it shows us our deep-seated values and the changes we desire. On the other hand, courage comes from determination to face fear directly. My Angelou eloquently said, courage is the most important of all the virtues because without courage, you can't practice any other virtue consistently. Our minds are skilled at crafting narratives, often exaggerating fears and casting shadows larger than the threats they represent. Seneca's wisdom teaches us that our greatest battles often lie within challenging us to differentiate between perceived dangers and the real risks. Embracing courage starts with acknowledging and accepting our fears. Techniques like mindfulness allows us to observe our fears without judgment, fostering a response rooted in clarity rather than in reaction. Setting small challenges will enable us to expose ourselves to feared situations, building confidence gradually drawing inspiration from courageous role models and leaning on supportive communities can further encourage us to face our fears. Everyday acts of courage, speaking our own truth, admitting uncertainties, or establishing boundaries underscore that bravery that thrives not only in grand gestures, but also in the subtleties of daily life. These acts, though small, fortify our resilience and shape our character, affirming that the essence of courage lies in a continuous choice to confront our fears regardless of their scale. Understanding the intricate relationship between fear and courage can unlock the potential for resilience and fulfillment. The battlefield lies within. We uncover our most profound strength by confronting our internal struggles. Now, here's some practical strategies. Cultivate an awareness of your fears through reflection and mindfulness. Acknowledge them without judgment to lessen their power. Begin with small challenges and progressively tackle more significant fears. Seek inspiration. Draw motivation and guidance from stories of courage across the various spheres of life. Reframe the narrative. Change your story about fear and courage view challenges as opportunities to grow rather than insurmountable obstacles. The real battle is not in the outside world, but within the vast landscapes of our minds. As we face the battles within, we discover the true essence of our strength. Now here's a few questions to reflect on. How can identifying and understanding my fears lead to personal growth? In what areas of my life can I practice more courage? How can I cultivate a supportive network that encourages courageous action? Fear often distorts reality, making challenges seem insurmountable. Courage is the will to act despite these fears. And as Mark Twain rightly said, courage is resistance to fear, mastery of fear, not the absence of fear. If you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments. 
and check out my other videos over here and here. I'm Kansu Ao, the Taoist Warrior Scholar and Kung Fu Creative. Until our next tea time, stay inspired and inspirational.